Angeles. Well, it's such a big city, but it's made up of all of these pockets. And today, we're coming from one of them. We're in Brentwood. Many of us think about O.J. Simpson, I think, when we think about Brentwood, but L.A., it has so much history. And today, we're gonna learn a little bit more about it. I'm so glad you tuned in. I'm your host, Scott Griffin. Let's get started, come on. Silka, you have a lot of love space for this city. I do, I do. I came to this city because of love. Oh. I fell in love with my husband 20, almost 20 years ago, and I moved here for love, and then I fell in love with the city, and I stayed here for love. So uh, love is all around. My most favorite space is the Griffith Observatory. Oh. That is, to me, the most magical space. You can see the city from the top. Um, all the sparkling lights at night. That's like sort of my happy place. There's so many good parts about LA, especially the West Adams area, Leimert Park, Crenshaw Manor, View Park, sort of like that south of the 10, north of Inglewood, that little pocket. So many things are happening, yeah. The expo line's there connecting the beach to downtown. The Lermer Crenshaw expo line will open soon, connecting that area all the way down to Los Angeles LAX. LA doesn't stand but for public transportation, like it's not, but now we do. But we will we get does. it, it's amazing. It is beautiful, it's vibrant, it's colorful, there's a lot of history. It is, like I said, so centrally located, it makes it a perfect spot to move to. And there's so many beautiful homes you can purchase, there's a lot of old architectural homes, Spanish style homes, which is sort of like the thing right now. Everybody wants a Spanish home. It's a thing. And we have a lot of renovation resale artists that, that renovate those homes and bring them back to life. In, you know, not ripping out the character, but leaving it intact and just adding more value to the That's house. That's beautiful, Silka. Right. So many of the newer remodels that you see in the city is ripping away the history and yes. replacing with these mega mansions with no lots. But right. you're saying in that area, the That's texture not. is still alive, it's just yes. not fresh. Yes, exactly. They just make, they give new life to what's already there. As an agent here, I get to see so many different neighborhoods and experience the different vibes of the neighborhood. So one of the things that I love most about LA is that it's so dynamic. You know, whatever you're looking for, you can find it in some area. If you want to reinvent yourself, you could do it 10 times over. You know, it's the best city. Where I found a lot of my clients and where I found myself gravitating towards is Mid-City and South LA. Oh, and I'll tell you why. Please. I'll tell you why. You know, Mid-City, like West Adams, Jefferson Park, it's really got a personality. And I think recently it's been <clears throat> having a little bit of a renaissance as it's become like a, um, actually it's recently become West Adams specifically designated as an arts district. And so now you're seeing galleries open up and you're seeing a bunch of new businesses and old businesses really thriving because there's a pool, you know? Culver City, which is nearby, like five, 10 minutes down the street, has invited a lot of tech companies to move in, open headquarters, and that's caused a lot of expansion. You know, you get a lot of people who are just kind of discovering the beauty of these neighborhoods. And you know, whether you're, you've been there for a while and you've known that they're amazing or you're coming in new, you can't help but realize like, wow, I can get some awesome bang for my buck in such a great location. Well, that was an amazing episode, Los Angeles. It's a city of dreamers, a city of everything that's possible. And you and I, well, we get a chance to come right in the middle of it to see what's so special. I can't wait to explore the city together in our next episode. And we'll go right in the heartbeat of the things you and I want to learn about. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Scott Griffin. Until next time, bye.